Good afternoon, McKeever's class. Good afternoon, Mr. Klein. 6.7 volume, I can find the various parts of volume. Various parts of volume, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Volume is the amount of... Yeah, it is. Amount of space inside a 3D sheep. And the label for volume is units to the power of... Three. We could also say units... Because volume really is how many cubes fit inside of something, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Area is how many area is how many Square. squares fit inside of something, and they're flat, right? Yeah. Cubes are three D. Okay, good. Got it. Uh, okay, per perimeter. How do you find perimeter, everybody? Yes. How do you find the area of a square, a rectangle, or a parallelogram? Based on height. How do you find the area of a triangle? Very smart. Uh, how do you find the volume of a 3D shape? And because a 3D shape or because volume is dealing with three dimensions, your label is units cubed. Units cubed, right? Yeah. Because how many dimensions are we talking about again? Three. Three. What's this dimension here? What's this dimension right here? Say again. Width. What's this dimension right here? Height. Could this one also be called like base? Yeah. Could this one also be called like the depth? Yeah. This one also be called how, like how tall it is? Yeah. Cool. If you have a shape that like it just gives you all the cubes, could you just count the cubes to find volume? Yeah. Like you might say, yeah, well, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, this is six, and then there's six more on the back side, so it's 12, right? Yeah. Or could you just use length? times width times height. What's three times two times two? 12. Three times two is six, six times two, 12, yep. So either one works, yes? yes? But on this guy right here, did they give you the cubes? No. They didn't give you the cubes on the inside, did they? No. So we're using the, what's this dimension called? It, it's the length, right? Yes. What's this dimension? Width. What's this dimension? Height. And so you plug them all in and do your math, right? Yes. Probably wanna double check your math, right, Layla? Yes. Right, Layla? Yeah, Layla says, okay. And then on this guy, we were given the height, we were given the length, but we did not get the depth. We did not get the width, did we? But they did tell us the entire volume. So we pulled out our calculator and we used what strategy to figure out the missing? We just typed in numbers until we found this times this times a number that worked for X, right? We good?